Later on BBC One, High Seas Adventure in Triangle. But first, time to stretch those brain cells. Universally Challenge and asking the question, Jeremy Alpaxon. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Universally Challenge. Tonight, two teams will battle it out in an attempt to reach our second round. Weasel College Oxbridge was founded in 2006 and has gone on to be the 15th most popular emergency last ditch clearing choice for school leavers across the country. Located in the Cedar Keys Midlands with a campus covering almost a third of an acre, it can boat alumnus including the famous Seagrave Strangler who graduated last year with a third in applied cardboard technologies. Let's meet the Weasel team. Good evening. I'm Quiggles from Honolulu, reading Elementary Library Management. Hello everyone, um, my name's Billiam Croc from Troitwich, and I'm reading Flower Arranging. Bayek, I'm Northern Badger from Wakefield, and I'm reading Industrial Engineering. And their captain? I'm Randy Weasel from Stockholm, reading Abstract Philandering. New Skaro University was founded in 6000 BCE and was the first university to appear after the end of the Thal War. A popular party school and covering around 10,000 square miles, it averages around 100,000 graduate drones a week in such specialist areas as applied extermination, malevolent studies, military strategy and stating the bleeding obvious. Famous graduates include Dalek 267, Dalek 56968, the Special Weapons Dalek, and Jeffrey Archer. Let's meet the new Scaro team. Greetings, I am designated Dalek Sec, downloading a Masters in Business Administration. Guten Abend, Nick bin Dalek Khan, ich lech Philosophy mit der Deutschen. And their captain? Welcome, humans. I am Chief Scientist Davros, reading towards an MA in local history and philosophy. Evening! 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 I am designated the Dalek Supreme, reading geography and town planning. Right, teams, the rules are as always. Fingers on buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Originating in Latin America, a taco terrier is a cross between a toy fox terrier and what other breed of dog? Weasel. Goose. A chihuahua. Correct. Ten points. Well done, Weasel College. And your bonuses are on nursery rhymes. Who sat beside Miss Muffet? Ah, we think it was a spider, Mr. Jeremy. Correct. In the rhyme Bar Bar Black Sheep, how many bags of wool were available? <laughs> come on, come on, I've got to hurry you. Ah, oh, keep your shirt on, mate. We think it was three bags full. Correct. And finally, and this should be easy, where did Goosey Gander wander? Nominate Goosey. Bloody weasel. Upstairs, downstairs, and in my lady's chambers. Allegedly. Correct. 15 points to Weasel College. Right, time for another starter question. In the first James Bond film starring Sean Connery, who was the titular villain? New Scarrow Supreme. Doctor Who! Doctor Who! Doctor Who! No, I'm sorry. Lose five points. Anyone, Weasel College? <laughs> Weasel! Badger! Doctor, no, you ignorant Pontifract Pepperpots! 
Correct. 10 points. And your bonus questions are on cheeses. What is the most popular cheese to be produced and consumed in Greece? <laughs> Fitted. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's feta. Which cheese shares its name with a Guinness Premier Rugby team that play at Welford Road? <laughs> Double Gloucester. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's Leicester, of course. And finally, Caravane is the brand name of a cheese produced in Mauritania. From which animal is the milk taken? Um, the ostrich? The ostrich? It's a bird, not a mammal, so no bonus points for you, weasel. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Who was the third man to walk on the moon? <laughs> New Scaro Davros. Captain Charles P. Conrad. Correct, and you're finally off the starting blocks. And your bonus questions are on astrophysics. Earth is located in which galaxy? <laughs> Mutter spiral, known to you primitives as the Milky Way. Correct. Comets are most routinely distinguished from asteroids by what optical characteristic? Might be something else. What could it be? I don't know. Their lack of navigational controls. Oh my no! It's by their coma or tails. Lastly, what is? The Schwarzschild Radius. It is defined as the distance from the centre of an object, such that if all the mass of the object were compressed within the sphere, the escape speed from the surface would equal the speed of light. Would you care for me to mathematically prove the theorem? Ah, uh, no thanks. And with that answer, New Scaro, you score ten points. Right. Here's another start of a 10. In aerospace engineering terms, what is the most fuel economical way for a launch vehicle to achieve an orbital insertion? Come on, come on teams, it's not rocket science. New Scaro, sec. Using a Dalekanium power reactor? Ah, uh, no, no, Weasel College, any ideas? Weasel, croc. Um, is it a parabola? Yes, it is. Well done. Ten points. And your bonus round is on flowers. Entomologically speaking, what is the root of the dandelion's name? <laughs> we believe it's from the French for the lion's tooth. Dent de lion. Correct. On what type of flowers did Gregor Mendel do his famous genetic experiments? <laughs> Um, uh, nominate Croc. Uh, was it the pansy? <laughs> no, it wasn't, you stupid creature. It was the sweet pea. Finally, the Japanese word sakura means the blossoming of what kind of tree? <laughs> the cherry tree, Jezza. Correct, you cheeky weasel. I'll allow you ten points all the same. No need to look so down the stalk, New Scaro. Still time to get back in the game. Right, teams, ten points for answering this. Who was nicknamed the Chingford Skinhead? Uh, weasel. Weasel. And um, Dorian Green in Birds of a Feather? No, 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 lose five points. New Scaro, do you have any ideas at all? New Scaro, Davros. It was my old drinking companion, Lord Norman Tennant. Quite right. And your bonus round is on old sayings. Complete the saying, I'm not a pheasant plucker. I am the pheasant plucker, son. Correct. Many a mickle makes a what now? Our data banks intimate a pickle. No, 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 no dear, no, not at all, it's a muckle. Oh dear. Now, traditionally, what is the final fate of a whistling girl and a crowing hen? Like a Time Lord, they will come to 
some bad end. Correct, and you've scored another 10 points. We're just past the halfway mark, so we'll have a quick look at the scores. Well, it looks like Weasel College have a commanding lead at 50, but New Scaro aren't far behind at 35. Right, everything to play for. Here's another start of a 10. Take a look at this picture and tell me who painted it. New Scaro, calm. It was crafted by Edward Hopper. Quite right. 10 points and a bonus round of picture questions to New Scaro. Give me the location of the following landmarks. That is the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, Germany. Correct. Now this. Clearly an image of the Trompton town clock in Tromptonshire. Excellent. Well spotted. And finally... Um, maybe it's Titan. No, it must be Skegness Pier. I am as high as a kite on a gold dust and jam. Remind me to have you exterminated when we get back to Scarrow Calm. Look at the cybernetic organisms. It must be Mondas. Come along now, I need an answer. I shall ignore my creations. It is Button Moon, home of Mr. Spoon. Correct, which gives you 15 bonus points and puts you in the lead. Not much time left now, so here's another start for 10. The 1994 film Quiz Show was based on a scandal from which 1950s American game show? Weasel Badger 21. Correct. And your bonus round is on game shows. The popular children's game show Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack! Ah, uh, quite, but it's not your round, so shut up. In Cracker Jack, what did children have to keep hold of to win prizes? Oh, boy, um, their noses? No, 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 it was cabbages. What was the generation game host Larry Grayson's catchphrase? Uh, nominate Croc. Ooh, it was, ooh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. For the love of the almighty, no, it was shut that door. I'm sorry, that's such a terrible answer. I'm tempted to dock you five points. Ooh. And your last bonus question. On the grim northern game show Bullseye, what did contestants leave the show with if all they won was their BF? H. We Their bus fare home. Oh, and a bit of bully as well. Mm. Correct. So five more points, which means... Ah, there's the gong. Which means New Scaro University has 60 points, but just pipping them at the post is Weasel College Oxbridge with 65 points. Well, bad luck, New Scarra. We're going to have to say goodbye to you. But congratulations to Weasel College. You go through to the next round. Next time, we have another first round match as Bath take on Miskatonic. Do hope you can join us. Until then, it's goodbye from New Scarra. And it's goodbye from Weasel College. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs> The WeeBC would like to apologise for an error in tonight's Universally Challenged. Due to an error in the scoring system, New Scarra were not docked five points for an incorrect answer in response to a question about a parabola. However, this did not affect the outcome of the show, and we do hope it didn't spoil your enjoyment. <laughs>